Ät dina nötter. What's up, big boys, and welcome to a historic Henri to Glory episode. And not only is this the 10th episode in Henri to Glory, but it is a historic Foot Champs Rewards pack opening episode. And now for the past uh, for the past four or five weeks, you would have seen me get gold two rewards, which is great, 45,000 coins, and then two, uh, we get two, I believe, 55k packs, uh, which saw us get some pretty good rewards. We got Ebro, we got him, oh, wait, hold on a second, hey, Larson? <coughs> it becomes clean. What have been our best Foot Champs rewards? Look, this is no problem, but first, you need to speak some Swedish. Oh yeah, I forgot, Larson, you're actually Arsene Wenger's Swedish cousin. Teach me some Swedish, bro. Et dina notte. Et dina notte? <laughs> What's that mean? Oh, you're fine, though. In your last foot chance rewards, you got yourself some red cards. Beachy Batshuayi, Aaron Moy, Alison Greeny, along others. You also got some cool Elite 2 Squad Battles rewards. You got the Frogman Rebelli. And then you also got Ronaldo. What? Stop, oh, Carvalho. What? In this episode, not only are we going to be opening up our Gold One Foot Champs Rewards, which gets us 200k packs and 50,000 coins, I'm pretty sure, but we are also going to be doing the marquee matchups, uh, which I've heard are very well worth doing. We're going to do all four, which gets us four packs from that, and then an additional pack for completing the entire bunch. So we're going to do that. So this is going to be mainly a pack opening Foot Champs uh, Henri to Glory episode. Yeah. If you guys have been following along since the beginning, and if you guys are hyped for the Gold One Foot Champs Rewards, smash that like button. Let's try and crush 5,000 likes for this first ever historic Foot Chance Rewards pack opening. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. So really quickly, we're just going to do a little bit of a recap and a little bit of a housekeeping business. Uh, we've got just over 400 matches played and nearly 600 gold contributions from this Baby87 Icon Henri. So just really quickly want to shout out Baby Icon Henri for just being such a rock throughout the entire series. Got off to a uh, rocky start, but has just really taken off. This is the squad that saw us get gold one for the first time. Now you guys will also know the gold one finish came on a new patch release which came out I believe about a week and a half ago so I'm thinking maybe the new patch is like beneficial to the way that we play I don't know it's the first time I hit gold one and it was because and it was it coincided with the release of the new patch so I'm not 100% sure if that's what it is or if maybe we just actually are getting better but I can tell you one thing we didn't hit gold one because of uh, Dybala now if there's nothing in his stats that it would it indicate that 36 goals 26 uh, assists in 60 uh, in nearly 60 matches played he was good but I just don't feel like he was incredible he wasn't like a huge upgrade and for 300,000 coins which is what we bought him for he is nearly close to 230,000 coins because of this freaking market crash so we lost nearly 60 70,000 coins on this card I don't think I can sell him now I'm gonna hope maybe the market rebounds I'm gonna be able to sell him uh, and maybe recoup a little bit of that 300,000 coins that I put into him. Uh, Marquisio, just love this card, and I just always have to stress it, for being an older uh, player, the 81 agility that he has on his card, just the stats overall, he's just such an incredible, incredible card in this game. You feel it on the pitch. Uh, Alan, an unheralded CDM, and then Brozovic has been a rock as well. As you guys can see, 180 games played, and then uh, just over 70,000 gold contributions as well. We've got our bench, which is Alessandrini, as well as Martial, who hasn't been incredible, but in even though we haven't used a VPL side in uh, transitioning off of the Serie A side, he's been really, really good as a super sub, and I think we're going to continue that going into this weekend league. And that is going to be a question of this episode. Yeah. Do you guys want me to change things up and go to a different squad, or should I stick with what works and maybe try to go for 25 wins again? If it isn't broken, don't fix it. I think that's how the mantra goes. But then again, it could be exciting to use something different. So I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll defer to you guys. I just, I thought one thing we could do was sell on Di uh, Dybala if he was close to that 300,000 coins and then build uh, together, uh, build a BPL side, but I just don't feel right selling him on for 230,000 coins, which is what he's going for right now. But anyway, um, that is the Serie A side. I have a cheaper BPL side that I've been using to transition uh, off of our, um, our squad battles, which we are on pace for Elite One for this week. I got a little bit lazy. I had some things to do with family last weekend, so couldn't hit Elite One. You guys saw that I hit Elite Two. But we've got the Sweden versus Italy marquee matchup that we completed fairly cheaply. A lot of these, for example, Valero, I believe we got him in a, uh, we got him in our squad battles reward. So we've got, uh, we've got Valero there, just making sure I'm recording. We're gonna submit that one um, as our first one. So we get, uh, we get a pack for that. We get a gold players pack for the Ivory Coast Morocco one. Again, these are all matches that are taking place as part of the uh, World uh, World Cup qualifying playoffs. Um, uh, Denmark versus Ireland. Good friend David Myler is going to be participating in that. 
Uh, he also does YouTube. I'm sure you guys obviously know David Myler plays for a whole city in the championship. And he also is a friend who comes into the, the Discord call quite a bit. Uh, have a lot of good banter with him. So best of luck to him. Best of luck to any of you guys supporting a nation that's competing this weekend and late this week. But we've got this uh, Denmark versus Ireland squad. We decided to go with two Danish players in the form of Jorgensen. And then we've got this guy, another Jorgensen. So double Jorgensen. We're going to submit that one. And... Last but not least, we're going to be going with Greece versus Croatia, which I believe is the match today, which kicks off in about 45 minutes time. And we are going to submit this one. It is the most expensive one of the bunch, but decide to uh, submit that one. So we get a rare gold pack for that one. Uh, we complete the marquee matchups, which sees us get a premium gold players pack. Again, we're at 60,000 coins. The entire marquee matchup costed me 15,000 coins in addition to everything that we had in the club. So we are going to go over and mosey onto the store. Hopefully this doesn't trigger our rewards. No, it does not. So we have these packs to open, and that is what we're going to do. We're going to open these first. We're going to crack open a jumbo premium gold pack. Crushed at the Episodia, boys, and I don't want the audio to come through. If you guys have been doing the marquee matchups, let me know what you guys have been getting in these rewards. And right off the bat, we get ourselves Neon. Okay, so uh, Pacey Neon, Torino Neon, is our first player from the Premium Gold Players Pack. Uh, is there anything else hiding in there? Again, cost me 15,000 coins. We get Gomez, who I believe we used in, uh, what? We used this yesterday in the full Argentinian side. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We get him, we get a Parrot, we get Castellanos, who is not sure how he feels about packing himself. We get Kutchuk. And is there anything else in there? Again, I love seeing these. I love seeing, on a road to glory, I love seeing the fitness styles. Egypt, by the way, a little precursor uh, to what's coming on Sunday. Let's open the rare gold pack. And uh, maybe hope for a board on this one. I don't think we're expecting a board on the last one. We do get a board. Can we get an inform? It's not going to be an inform Danish. Kasper Schmeichel here, first time on telly. It's not bad. Uh, but you want a little bit more when you see, uh, when you see a board. Premier League goalkeeper. That's awesome. So we're going to take that, see if there's maybe an 82 that goes for a little thing hiding. Zappa Costa, he should go for a little bit. Tim Vies with a four-star uh, four star skill move, four-star weak foot, AK Reeve, Castillo. And then outside of that, nothing too great. A CF to Cam, that's good. Fitness, contract, all that stuff is good. But um, not the greatest reward. So we will store those guys. Uh, we will store those guys in the club. We will go to our gold players pack and we'll save the premium gold players pack for last and then we will kick into our first game of rewards. Go, 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 go Okay, so he's still going for, he's going for 18K. To think that he was going for 30, he's going for 30, 35K at one point, and now he's down to 18, but I will take it. Um, nearly 15 to 18K on him just alone. And then we get the premium gold player pack, which is, I believe, what we got for completing the entire set of marquee matchups. Hopefully, maybe we can get another board player. We do not, but you know that doesn't, that doesn't spell the end of it. It could be something nasty. Italian, left mid, Sansone? Wait, no, Soriano. What? Wow, okay, so, okay, so everything we had in the club already, so the, the, what we had to spend to get the players to do the marquee matchups, uh, we got back from that Virgil van Dijk alone, so literally we're at, we're, we're, we're just at profit this point, at this point, so that was pretty decent, but the packs have not been great if I'm being honest with you. The moment of truth has come, we get ourselves our first ever gold one foot champions rewards, we get two jumbo rare players packs, as well as 50,000 coins. And one little quick note I want to make on the on the gold the transition from gold two to gold one. For gold two, you only get 40, you get 45,000 coins, which is great. But gold one, you get just for four more wins, you only get 5,000 more coins. That sounds kind of crazy to me. I think I think gold one should at least be 60,000 coins. It shouldn't be a it shouldn't be a 5k difference. Either make gold two less or make gold one more. But uh, we get our two or uh, we get our 50,000 coins, which brings us up to 109,000 coins. Have a bunch of coins stored in the club. I think we're at around 700, 800,000 coins. As a matter of fact. Uh, for the next epi of Henri de Glory, I'm going to use the Footbin uh, club import, which is going to, which downloads the entire club and then shows you the value that you have in there. So we're going to see how that pans out for us, and we're going to see exactly how much we have. But we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves 200k packs, our first 100k packs of the year, and we're not going to delay things any further. We're going to go into it. You guys let me know in the comments who you guys are getting in your book champ rewards. We say it has to be a board player. Of course it's going to be a board player. Can it be an informant? It is not. But can it be someone good? Riyad Mahrez, 85, 83, oh wow. 
Okay, 83 Riyad Mahrez. In our first 100K pack, uh, if I'm being honest with you, I'm not 100% sure how to feel about that. Is there anything else in there? Begovic, Vela, Zaha, Weigl. Begovic, Vela, Zaha, Weigl. Begovic, Vela, Zaha, Weigl. Begovic, Vela, Zaha, Weigl. High school music. Uh, 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 boring game. I mean, Paulinho, cool. That's a great card. Okay, so wait, Paulinho goes for about 2,000 coins, so that's, that's a great little card there. Zaha, Julia, Vela, Begovic, and Riyad Mahrez. Does he even, 83 Riyad Mahrez. Okay, I mean, like, look, we stacked the club up with a bunch of players. There's no question about that. So we, we, we've got coins from this. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a Mises Kitzel pack. An unopened Mises Kitzel. We're gonna snap A. And we're opening it right now. Imagine that we don't get a fourth player in 100k. A little bit of a glitch, so maybe there's something happening there. It's not gonna be an icon, it's not gonna be a mentor. Oh gosh! Biglia! Biglia in our second 100k pack! Bigly. We don't give up, we don't get above an 83 rated inch back to back 100k's! We got. Please. There has to be a Martial. There's not a Martial. Son! Wait a second, young man, son! Probably doesn't go for a fraction of what he went for before. We get one of the Bender brothers, we get Sinaldo, a Herving, uh, Chucky Lozano, a Welb, Soriano, Azmoon, and Piccini. What is this pack? Seed Kol Kolasinic had himself an inform last week, we just missed that. Jasper Selesin, Sinaldo. The only saving grace could be if Sinaldo goes for over 30k. <laughs> That's what we're gonna get in 100k packs? I swear our gold two rewards have been better. I swear our gold two rewards have been better than this. The moment foot champion starts, I'm gonna forget about this. This is not gonna affect me going forward in foot champs whatsoever. Once you get into foot champs, you just go into a mode where you're like, okay, we have to beast out. Elite three, we could possibly get. Gold one, I guarantee you we'll get better rewards next, week next weekend. These have been some of the weakest gold one rewards that I have possibly seen. But we get the 50,000 coins, we get a bunch of players to load up the club, we get that Mangala who I wonder if he goes for something. And I think, I, I don't even, you know what, I don't even know what to think about that. We're up to 109,000 coins, again I'm gonna do the club import feature to find out exactly what we have, but I'm thinking we have at least half a mil, uh, probably over that, probably closer to 650, 700,000 coins. But that is going to be our gold one foot champs rewards, and if I'm being honest with you boys, very, very, very disappointed in what we got there. Hopefully you guys have been getting better rewards like I asked. Let me know what you guys have got in your rewards. Um, and uh, just really, really disappointed in the, in, in the foot champs rewards that we got this weekend. But anyway, boys, that is going to conclude Henri to Glory. Episode number 10 was hoping it was going to be a little bit more historic. Was historic because we did get the rewards, but was not historic because we got some pretty horrible rewards at that. But anyway, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the epi. Hit that like button if you did. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you guys do want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. But both marquee matchups and foot chance rewards were really, really bitterly disappointing. Unless you guys notice something in the video of a player that goes for something, you guys let me know. But very, very disappointed. But anyway, boys, have the Mbappe Frappe episode here coming tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I will see you guys for that epi tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Adieu.